Hey everyone, today I'm going to be seeing if I can use my giant magnifying glass to focus the moonlight enough to burn a piece of paper. Can you start a fire with moonlight? So first I'll be seeing how hot we can get moonlight by focusing with just a regular magnifying glass. And then I'll be using my giant Fresnel lens to focus the moonlight down, seeing if we can actually get a discernible temperature and how hot can we get it? Can we actually burn something? And then I'm going to be talking about focusing light down to a single point. How hot can you get it by focusing light down with lenses? So I'll be using my thermal imager as well to see how hot the point is getting on the piece of paper. And while we're talking about heat, I'd like to thank Bedsure for sponsoring this video. So I'm wearing here my Bedsure heated blanket. As the winter months are coming, this heated blanket is awesome. You can use it on the sofa, the couch, anywhere you want it. The blanket is made of tie-dye flannel fleece, which is soft and cozy with an excellent heat storage performance. What's great about this blanket is it uses a harmless 24 volts, so there's no risk of electric shock. And the electric blanket is UL and CE certified. So even if a child or pet gets the blanket wet, you don't have to worry too much. And you can set the timer for two hours, four hours, or eight hours. You can use the controller to adjust the temperature in the three heat settings conveniently. And it will automatically turn off after two hours by default. And the heating blanket is specifically designed with an over temperature protection in case you fold it by accident. What's great about this blanket too is it's machine washable. You just need to remove the plug and controller and the electric blanket can be gently cycled in the washing machine or by hand. So I'll put a link to the Bedsure heated blanket in the description below and also a promo code. And now back to our video. Okay, we got close to a full moon tonight. Look at that. Let's see if we can actually focus the moonlight down enough to burn anything. Okay, here's a magnifying glass. Let's focus the moonlight down. And there it is. <laughs> so it does work. Look, you can focus the moonlight down just like the sunlight. But is it hot? That's the question. So with just this size of magnifying glass, for sure the paper would be burning right now if this were the sun. Now let's see if it's actually hot though. So I'll stick my hand under it and it doesn't feel warm at all. <laughs> Can't even feel it. But just to make sure, let's get our thermal imager here and see if we see anything. So it should be right on the center of it. We should see red, but there's no red there. So I'm not seeing any significant temperature rise from this moonlight here. Now let's see what happens if we bring out the big guns the Fresnel lens. Okay, you can see how much brighter this is now. See if we can focus it. Okay, there we go. So much brighter than the other lens. Let's see if it's actually warm though. If you want to... Okay. I don't really feel anything. I don't feel anything. Don't feel any warmth. Let's see if we can pick anything up. Yeah, I don't pick up any temperature change whatsoever here. Nothing. So right now, if this were the sunlight, my hand would be on fire right now. Okay, Joanna, you wanna stick your hand under there and see if it burns you? <laughs> can you tell it's there? Focusing the moonlight with a giant magnifying glass, it can't even tell, you can't even tell any temperature change on your hand. Okay, so why didn't this work? Why weren't we able to focus the moonlight down enough to even feel any warmth on my hand at all? Or even tell any discernible temperature difference? Well, I know that the sun is around 400,000 times brighter than the moonlight. So that means that I just need a bigger lens because I know with this lens I can start a fire with the sunlight. So what if I just had a lens that was 400,000 times bigger than this lens? Could I then start a fire with the moonlight? Well, surprisingly, the answer is still no. Now let me explain why it is that you couldn't ever start a fire with moonlight, no matter how big your lens is. It's due to something called the conservation of etendu. For example, let's take my big square diffused light in the back here and see what happens if I try to focus it down on the wall over here. So I'll take my magnifying glass. 
you can see all I can do is just make that same square over there. So that square of light, all I did was make a smaller version of it over here. So the lens makes a tiny image of whatever you're looking at through the lens. But it's actually not tiny, it's actually bigger than the thing that you're looking at. The thing that you're looking at is really far away, so it actually only takes up a tiny portion of your field of view. But the magnifying glass enlarges that field of view, so it takes up more of your field of view when you look through the lens. So what I mean by that is that whatever you're looking at through the lens doesn't get brighter, it just takes up a larger portion of your field of view. Let me show you what I mean. Okay, for example, here's a light on my ceiling. Now you can see that it's only taking up this tiny portion of our entire screen here, only about that much. But when I put the lens in front of the camera, it's not gonna make any part of this light brighter, but it's going to make this light get bigger. So each point is the same brightness as on the bulb, but it's going to be like I enlarge the bulb and the bulb is bigger. So it's gonna take up a larger portion of your field of view. So now watch what happens. So now when I focus the light right there, now it's as though that light bulb is huge now. So now it's as though I had a giant light bulb on the ceiling there. So there was no single point right here that got brighter, but what it did is it spread it out so that that brightness took up a larger portion of the field of view. So right now there's more light hitting the camera, but there's no single point on there that is brighter than the surface of that light bulb itself. So a way to explain this conservation of etendu without any math is just to picture a lens that's some configuration of lenses that can take up your entire field of view. So with this magnifying glass, I can get it to take up this much of my field of view. With this magnifying glass, I can get it to take up this much of my field of view. But with any other configuration of lenses, the best I could do is get it to take up my entire field of view. And the maximum brightness of any point that I'm looking is only the maximum brightness of any point on that light bulb. So that means the maximum temperature that I could get is just the maximum temperature of that light bulb. And the same goes for the sun and the moon. So if I were shining some type of lens configuration at the moon in which I were able to surround my whole body with a configuration of lenses where no matter where I looked, it was as if I were staring right at the moon, the maximum temperature that I could ever get to or the maximum brightness is just the temperature or brightness of the moon itself. And so for the moon, that temperature is 100 degrees C. So you could never get hotter than 100 degrees Celsius by any configuration of lenses, no matter what you did. So that means that you could never start a fire with moonlight, no matter how big your lenses are. Now, if you could start a fire with moonlight, that would break the second law of thermodynamics because what that would mean is that you're taking something that's colder, like the surface of the moon, and making something that's hotter. And usually heat only flows from hot to cold. It doesn't go from cold to hot. So how could we be taking something that's colder and making something that's hotter? Because that would mean the heat is flowing from the moon to the earth and making it hotter on the earth. And this also means that no matter your configuration of lenses, you can't make something hotter than the surface of the sun. So no matter how big your magnifying glass is, you can't make a point that's hotter than the surface of the sun. I should mention that the explanation of surrounding yourself with a lens that opens up your field of view to always be looking at the light source comes from Randall Monroe in his book, What If? And thanks again to Betcher for sponsoring this video. Remember to check out their heated blanket and the promo code in the description below. And thanks for watching the Action Lab. Remember, if you haven't subscribed yet, remember to hit the subscribe button and hit the bell to be notified when my latest video comes out. And thanks for watching, and I'll see you next time.